Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. So in this uh, discussion, we will be analyzing the velocity of a skydiver falling to the ground. Let v of t be the velocity of a skydiver falling to the ground. then then the model that will govern this velocity is v m v dot to be equal to m g minus k p square where m is the mass of a skydiver g is acceleration due to gravity and k is positive constant related to air resistance so we will be analyzing the dynamics of this system so this will be our differential equation first we can uh, in this case we are lucky enough that we can solve it analytically so first we will solve it analytically and then we will see if time goes to infinity what happens to this model and uh, then we will be doing our so called graphical way or linearization theorem one of them in other words we will find its fixed points and from there we will be analyzing it so let's just so we will be solving this differential equation subject to v of 0 to be 0 so we can use separation of variables First, we can write this differential equation in this form g minus k over m v square. So, let a be equal to square root k over m. This is just a supposition that I am taking for making it a suitable one equation. Uh, if you if you are comfortable, you cannot not assume it. So, this implies that dv by dt is equal to g minus a v whole square which after separation gives me g minus a v whole square to be dt which then gives me after integrating it it can be written as 1 over square root of g whole square minus a v square dv to be equal to dt further let's let's suppose something y to be a v that implies uh, 1 over a times d y is d v so this will give me 1 over a outside and then 1 over square root of g whole square minus y square d y to be equal to t plus some constant c which will again give me 1 over a times which after integrating using suitable formula we get uh, 1 over 2 times square root of g times natural log of square root of g plus x oh sorry y 
डिवाइड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ जी माइनस वाई इक्वल टू टी प्लस कांस्टेंट सी देन वी कैन गेट सो वी हैव वन ओवर टू ए स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ जी टाइम्स नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ जी प्लस वाई डिवाइड बाय स्क्वायर ऑफ रूट ऑफ जी माइनस वाई to be equal to t plus c but y was a times v so we can replace that value and we get plus a v divided by square root of g minus a v equal to t plus c but we also know that uh, v of 0 is 0 so that implies that 1 over 2 a g natural log of this square root of g divided by square root of g this guy is zero this is also zero which is zero plus c but this becomes natural log of one which becomes zero so that implies zero is zero plus c which shows that c is ultimately zero when c is zero so what we are left with is something this 1 over 2 a times square root of g natural log of square root of g plus a times v divided by g minus a times v to be equal to t which will give me natural log of this guy equal to 2 a times square root of g times t or we can replace the value of a over here for now so we get g minus a v so what was the square root what was a this 2 times square root of k over m so this is also square root of g so this will be over here and uh, then we get square root of g plus a times v divided by square root of g minus a times v to be equal to exponential of 2 times of kg over m times t then we get square root of g plus a times v to be equal to e power 2 times square root of kg over m times t multiplied by square root of g minus a times v which then then goes to square root of g plus a times v to be equal to e to the 2 times square root of kg over m times t and then all of this multiplied by this so then we get square root of g multiplied by 2 times square root of kg divided by m times t minus a v multiplied by exponential of 2 times of the square root of kg over m times t then we get av plus av times exponential of 2 times square root of kg over m times t to be equal to square root of g e to the 2 times square root of kg divided by m times t and then minus g then uh, you know that av is common over here so av comes out and then we have 1 plus e times 2 e power 2 times square root kg over m times t square root g to be common minus 1 and then we get v to be equal to square root of g over a and all of this multiplied by e to the 2 times square root of kg over m times t minus 1 divided by e to the 2 times 
के जी ओवर एम टाइम्स टी प्लस वन एंड देन दिस ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग दिस ओवर हेयर इज इक्वल टू टेंजेंट हाइपरबोलिक सो वी विल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू टेन हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन एंड वी विल ऑल्सो रिप्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड वी विल गेट v of t to be equal to square root mg over k times tan hyperbolic of square root of kg over m times t now now this is the velocity of a square a skydiver at any time t now we can see what happens to this velocity as time goes to infinity we know that if we calculate this limit t goes to infinity of tan hyperbolic of uh, t then it goes to 1 you can prove this from uh, the definition of tangent hyperbolic function so using this we can conclude that the limit t goes to infinity of v of t is equal to a uh, limit t goes to infinity of mg over k tan hyperbolic of square kg over m times t and this will go to after calculating this limit you can conclude that this approach is to to this quantity over here so what is the meta conclusion of this all so as t goes to infinity the solution v of t for m v dot to be equal to the model that we have mg minus kv square is v of t which approaches to square root mg over k so in long run the terminal velocity is this it it will approach to this velocity now we can analyze this using the fixed point uh, method uh, using the fixed point r i would say equilibrium solutions and uh, we will be discussing this in the next video and don't forget that uh, the velocity v of t which is obtained which is obtained by taking t goes to infinity is called terminal velocity so for above model or this model terminal velocity is this so the terminal velocity for the previous model or this model is is v of t let me write this way to be equal to square root of mg over k why this is terminal velocity because this velocity is obtained when we leave our t to go to infinity so in the next discussion we will see that this terminal velocity is nothing but the fixed point of this uh, dynamical system or the this equation or this model